Whites is a commercial black-oriented news radio station licensed to Columbus, Ohio. Owned by iHeartMedia, the station serves the Columbus metro area. Besides a standard analog transmission, the station is available online via iHeartRadio. The White Studios are located along in downtown Columbus, while the station transmitter resides southwest of the city's downtown area. White's is the sixth oldest continuously running radio station in the state of Ohio, and is best known for its top 40 format in the 1960s and 1970s under the Heritage Call Calls. In the time period between 1998 and today, the station has undergone five different format changes with as many different call signs. Munin and Sin White's began in 1922 as Mun, an offshoot of the Broad Street Baptist Church in downtown Columbus. The station studios and transmitter were located within the church, and broadcast hours were only a few hours each Sunday as audio simulcasts of church services. Church member W. E. Heskett became the license holder of Wunin in conjunction with the church on December 1924 and had purchased the station outright by 1927. Hours of operation expanded gradually beyond Sunday services, and Wynn Studios were relocated to the Seneca Hotel. Heskett soon leased airtime on Wynn to the Columbus Broadcasting Corporation in late 1929, with a buyout following months later. Intending to shake its previous religiously rooted image, the station's call sign was modified to Vson, a reflection of the Seneca Hotel. By 1932, the station operated on a daily basis from 8 o'clock a.m. until midnight. Call it became call upon its sale to the Columbus Dispatch Publishing Company, headed by Edgar and Robert F. Wolfe, whose family also owned WBNS and WBNS FM radio. Naturally, Call and WBNS shared studios and offices, with Call eventually affiliating with both the NBC Red and Blue networks by 1937. The 1941 NARBA agreement moved Call over to the 1230 kHz dial position, where it has remained ever since. When FCC guidelines dictated that no single owner could own two AM stations in the same market, Call was spun off by the Wolf family to a partnership headed by several members of the Pixleys Incorporated. Headed by family members Lloyd Pixley, Martha Pixley, and Grace Pixley. Lloyd was the son of former Bob operator Milton Pixley, and became president of Call with the sale. The station soon received both a new transmitter, and an FM sister station at 92. 3 MHz, which also took the Call calls. The Pixleys would sell off Call AM slash FM to Air Trails Incorporated. On January 1952. Air Trails, and its successor Great Trails Broadcasting would be the primary owners of Call for over 52 years. Operating power for the station was increased to 1,000 watts during the daytime by July 1960, along with broadcasting 24 hours a day. Call, by then an independent station, then changed its format over to Top 40 that July 1st, dubbing itself the new Call. Call was best known to Columbus area residents throughout the 1960s during this era and was the primary top 40 format station in the Columbus market when its jingle 1230 the new WCOL was part of the local audio landscape. It held this distinction from 1960 to the early 1970s, until the rise in popularity of FM broadcasting and competition from WNCI. Call, in its top 40 heyday was heralded as the station which premiered the hits. Brian McIntyre gained national award recognition for his uncanny ability to pick hit music, in advance of other radio markets. The call calls were also used in tribute as the backdrop for the 1996 Tom Hanks movie That Thing You Do. Air Trails was renamed Great Trails Broadcasting in 1969 after a corporate reorganization, but still retaining much of the management and personnel. Great Trails also would own regional stations Wing in Dayton, Wise in Springfield, WGTZ in Eaton, and WKLO and WKLO-FM in Louisville during this time. WCOL-FM would also see changes, splitting away from the AM station to highlight a progressive rock format before becoming 92XWXGT where the top 40 format was moved to. As the 1970s faded, the station changed format to a more adult contemporary focus. Call was still successful in this format until a series of management and air staff changeovers followed in the early 1980s including a brief switch to middle-of-the-road styled adult standards and the brief return of Columbus broadcast legend Spook Beckman. The station began broadcasting at 1,000 watts 24 hours a day, along with a format change to new slash talk. After that format failed to show in the ratings, Paul flipped back to top 40 oldies with the WXGT calls dropped reverting to WCOL-FM. 
by 1991. Hull AM was simulcasting WCOL FM's oldies programming, with the AM station soon breaking off to play 1950s oldies. In short order, Call went back to a news-slash-talk format, only this time assuming a mostly syndicated lineup. The station and WCOL-FM were sold off to Nationwide Communications in 1994, the parent company of WNCI. Call became a FI on March 24. 1997, airing a syndicated conservative talk radio format as 1230 FYI, though this time it was oriented at younger listeners. WTVN owner JCOR Communications acquired FI, Call and WNCI in August 1998, and ultimately merged with Clear Channel Communications that next year. FI was not a rating success, and in 2001 the station became WZNW, airing a sports talk format as 1230 The Zone. However, WZNW was never able to compete effectively against the other full-time sports station in Columbus, WBNS, which held the rights to the Ohio State Buckeyes. Call returned to 1,230 in 2003, playing pre-British invasion pop slash rock as real oldies 1,230. Call traded in on its heritage as a top 40 station, and the real oldies format played much of the same music. They even used some of their vintage PAMs and TM jingles from that era. Despite some positive buzz from longtime radio listeners, many of whom remembered Call from its top 40 heyday, the format failed to capture a significant audience in the market. The station, mostly automated using voice tracking, lacked the live personalities which made the original call great. At noon on September 7, 2004, call became WTPG, as Progressive Talk AM 1230. WTPG carried programming mostly from the Air America radio network, as well as syndicated hosts at Schultz, Springer on the radio and Stephanie Miller. WTPG saw mild ratings improvements, although ranked well behind counter-program sister station WTVN. On December 23, 2006, the Columbus Dispatch reported that WTPG would change again the January 8th over to a conservative-based talk format, under the White's calls. Bruce Collins, the local program director for WTVN and White's, said, whether it's politics or sports, financial information or general advice, Central Ohio listeners will have the opportunity to talk about it on Talk 1230. Shortly after the station announced the pending format change, a small group of people formed Ohio Majority Radio. An eventually unsuccessful grassroots attempt to save the progressive radio format on 1230 AM. Competing station WVKO eventually changed formats and picked up much of the former WTPG schedule for a brief time before switching to a religious format. On January 26, 2009, Whites dropped the conservative talk format and became the Columbus affiliate for Fox Sports Radio. Whites will carry the full FSR schedule and will hold on to the Jim Rome show. After WTDA dropped its talk format and Patrick's show in late December 2009, Whites picked Patrick's show live. On February 21, 2017, Whites and W287CP flipped to Urban AC as Vibe 105.3. The change comes as the sports format was made irrelevant due to sister station WXZX flipping to a similar format the previous November. Michael Island, assistant program director and middayer of Sister Watt, will host mornings on Vibe. The remainder of the day will feature premium choice hosts including Viz Afternoon host Joe Soto in middays and WSOL FM midday host Joe Joe in afternoons. On March 28, 2017, just over a month after the flip to Vibe, Whites and W287CP rebranded as KISS 105.3. The change was likely due to a conflict with similarly branded Vibe Radio HD on WCVO HD2. On November 29, 2017, Whites flipped to a classic hip-hop format. The change occurred as former similarly formatted WBMO flipped to a simulcast of WCKX the day prior. On October 2, 2020, Whites flipped to All News, joining iHeart's Black Information Network. The classic hip-hop format continues on the 105. 3 Translator, relayed by WZCB's HD2 subchannel. Thanks for watching.